Honorable Ms. Lindy Wei Zulu, Chairman of PT PPD Board. Honorable Mr. Peterson, Deputy Executive Director of UNFPA. Honorable Ministers, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. It is a great pleasure to participate in the 18th Ministerial Conference on South and South Cooperation on Population Development. First of all, I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to the organizers for convening this conference. At this time last year, we held the 17th Ministerial Conference online. One year later, the COVID-19 pandemic is still spreading with many ups and downs. The world economy is struggling to recover and the countries are facing great challenges in implementing the ICPD goals and the Agenda 2030. In such a special period, all countries in the world, especially developing countries, need to strengthen cooperation more than ever to overcome difficulties together. 2021 is a year of great significance for China. We have witnessed and experienced many important events together. For example, as the COVID-19 pandemic continues raising, China upholds the concept of a community of shared future, has provided emergency assistance to more than 100 can 150 countries and 13 international organizations and provided more than 1.8 billion dosage of vaccines to 110 countries and international organizations. This figure will exceed 2 billion by the end of this year. Also, for example, on February 28th, 2021, the Chinese government officially announced that China has completely eliminated absolute poverty for the first time in history and completed the poverty reduction goal of UN 2030 agenda 10 years ahead of schedule. China contributed to more than 70% of global poverty reduction by population during the same period. For another example, the results of the seventh national census conducted every 10 years shows that new changes have taken place in China's demographics. In 2020, the total population of mainland China reached 1.41 billion with declining new births and increasing aging. China is not only facing the pressure of a large population, but also facing the challenges of changing demographics and even regional development. The population situation has become complicated with the impact of COVID-19. Dear Excellencies, colleagues, during the general debate of the 76th UN General Assembly, President Xi Jinping put forward the Global Development Initiative, calling on the international community to accelerate the implementation of Agenda 2030 and promote a stronger, greener, and healthier global development. Faced with the complex international and domestic situation, China firmly safeguards the international system with UN as its core, actively supports multilateralism, and work with all parties to continue to support South, South cooperation on population development, and we are committed to RCPD goals and Agenda 2030. First, actively promote the optimization of childbirth policy to promote the health of women and children. China will continue to adhere to the comprehensive decision making, and we will consider policies about marriage, childbirth, parenting, and education as a whole in line with demographics. Improve improving supporting matters, enhance the inclusiveness of birth policy, guarantee citizens access to family planning services, and improve citizens' reproductive health, and actively respond to the risks and problems brought about by low fertility rates and population aging. The second is to continue to do a good job in normalizing prevention control of COVID-19. China will continue to consolidate the major strategic achievements uh, in the fight against the pandemic, adhere to the principle of people first and life first, insist on taking people's health as a strategic priority, adhere to the overall strategy of preventing imported cases and domestic rebound, take scientific prevention and control measures, strictly take effective measures to safeguard people's health and safety. The third is to further strengthen South-South cooperation against the pandemic as a major responsible country, China will continue to maintain close cooperation with other countries, especially developing countries in the fight against COVID-19 and the population and development. 
China will earnestly honest the sovereign pledge of uh, President Xi Jinping, support developing countries in the fight against the pandem pandemic, in restoring economic and social development, and make its own contribution to build a community of human health. Thanks again to PPD and the UN Population Fund for their contribution to this meeting. Thanks.